Jesus goes back to his place and when passing, he lays his hand on the curly hair of a very young man. I would say that he's hardly 20 years old, if that. One who has never spoken and is certainly of Hebrew race. Jesus asks him, and you, my son, are you not saying anything to your saviour? The young man raises his head and looks at him. A full speech is in his look, a story of grief, of hatred, of repentance, of love. Jesus, bending lightly over him, staring at his eyes, reads a mute story and then says, That is why I call you son. You are no longer alone. Forgive all those of your own blood and those who are strangers, as God forgives you and love the love who saved you. Come with me for a moment. I want to say a word to you privately. The young man stands up and follows him. When they are alone, Jesus says, I want to tell you this, son. The Lord has loved you very much. Although it may not appear to be so to a superficial judge, you have been sorely tried by life. Men have harmed you seriously. Both could have ruined you irreparably. Behind them, there was Satan, jealous of your soul. But above you, there was the eye of God. And that blessed eye stopped your enemies. His love sent Zacchaeus along your path. And with Zacchaeus, he sent me, who am now speaking to you. And now I tell you that in this love you must find what you have not had. You must forget what embittered you and forgive. Forgive your mother, your ill-famed master and yourself. Do not hate yourself in an evil way, son. Hate your time of sin, but not your spirit that has been successful in leaving that sin. Let your thought be a good friend of your spirit, so that together they may reach perfection. Me? Perfect? Did you hear what I said to that man? And yet he was in the depth of the abyss. And thank you, son. For what, my lord? I have to thank you for not going to those who buy men to betray me. O oh Lord, how could I do it if I knew that you do not despise even us highwaymen? I also was among those who brought you the lamb at the chariot, and one of us, who has been captured by the Romans, at least so they say, he's certainly not been seen in the refuge of the highwaymen since before the tabernacles, told me the word you spoke in a valley near Modine, because at that time I had not yet joined the highwaymen. I went to them at the end of last Adar, and I left them at the beginning of Ethanim. But I did not do anything that deserves your thanks. You were good. I wanted to be good, and to warn a friend of yours. Can I say so of Zacchaeus? Yes, you can. All those who love me are my friends. You are one too. Oh, I wanted to warn him so that you should be on the lookout, but a warning does not deserve thanks. I will repeat it to you again. I thank you for not selling yourself to those who are against me. That is important. And is the warning not? Son, nothing will be able to prevent hatred from assailing me. Have you ever seen a torrent overflow? Yes, I have. I was near Jabesh Gilead, and I saw the damage caused by the river that had overflowed before flowing into the Jordan. And could anything stop the water? No, it flooded and ruined everything. Even some houses were swept away. Hatred is like that, but it will not carry me away. I shall be submerged 
but not destroyed. And in the very bitter hour, the love of those who would not hate the innocent one will be my consolation, my light in the dark of that hour of darkness, my sweetness in the chalice of wine mixed with gall and myrrh. You? You are speaking of yourself as if that chalice is for highwaymen, for those who go to die on the cross. But you are not a thief. You are not guilty. You are the Redeemer. Give me a kiss, son. He takes the man's head in his hands and kisses his forehead. Then he bends to receive his kiss. A timid kiss that hardly touches the emaciated cheek. Then the young man collapses on Jesus' chest, weeping. Do not weep, son. I am sacrificed by love, and it is always a sweet sacrifice, even if it is grievous to human nature. He holds him in his arms until he stops weeping, and then he goes back, holding him by the hand close to himself, to the place where Peter was previously.